Hi everyone, welcome back to Movie Make It's I'm Miss Julia, and today we're going to be making a pipe cleaner llama from the Emperor's New Groove. For this project, you will need your pipe cleaners, your extra pillow fluff, your pom-poms that match your pipe cleaner. We'll only end up using one for the head, but you can decide which size looks better. Your googly eyes, your glue dots, your felt, and you'll want a pair of scissors from home. You can pause the video here and go gather your supplies. Now that you've had a chance to gather your supplies, I'm going to move a few things out of the way. We're going to start with our pipe cleaners. This is going to be the body of our llama. We'll start with one to begin with. I'm going to take one end and start making the ears for the llama. So I'm going to take my fingers and pinch just a little bit and fold over the end of my pipe cleaner. That's one ear. And then where the pipe cleaner is bent over by the end, I'm going to bend it just a little bit. And then I'm going to bend this long part really close to where my other bent one is so that I'll have two little ears. It kind of looks like a heart shape. The next thing I'm going to do is bend the long part so it makes more of a Y. So this part here and this part here are doubled over so that I can have thicker llama ears. And this part here, the long part, is one single bit still. Next, I'm going to take my little ears and turn them to the side. And I'm going to bend my pipe cleaner. So now my ears are here and I've got the long end of my pipe cleaner this way. Then I'm going to decide which one of my two pom-poms I want to use. I think I might use the smaller one for the head. So I'm going to take my smaller pom-pom and use it to measure how long the face of the llama needs to be. So about there. Now I'm going to fold my pipe cleaner. And this time, since it's a little bit longer, I'll put in a twist or two to help keep it all stuck together. And then I'm going to take my long end and fold it down so that now it's the neck. So here's the face of the llama my two ears, and the neck part. Then I'm going to take my llama a little bit further down and bend. So now I have a long llama neck. I have the beginnings of my body. Then I'm going to take another part. So I'm going to decide how long or short the body of my llama is going to be. I'll go about here. Then I'm going to fold down. So now I have the head, the ears, the neck, the body, and this part I'm going to use to make the back legs. So you can see that I'm going to take the end of the pipe cleaner and kind of fold it over here so I can figure out about where the middle is so that my legs will be the same size. And then I'm going to take that middle part that I just figured out and fold so that it matches up with where the body is. Then I'll give that bent over part a few twists to make a leg. And then I'm going to fold the very end here up to meet the body and give a few twists here so that I have my legs done. So there is the beginnings of my llama. You can see I have 
the head, the ears, the neck, the body, and the back legs. Now we need the front legs to go right here. So I'm going to grab my second pipe cleaner and I'm going to use the back legs to measure. So that's one. I'm going to fold it over so that it can be double thickness too. Twist. And then from right here where the double thickness turns into a single thickness, I'll make a little bend and measure again. Fold it over and twist. Then I'm going to take my front legs and stick them onto my llama. I'm going to use this extra part here to wrap around and secure the front legs onto my llama. The nice thing about pipe cleaners is that you can always bend them a different way. So if you don't like how your legs look right now, you can always reposition them and all of this end bit, all I have to do is kind of squish it onto the body and then I can reposition my legs however I need them to be. So there is the body of my llama. He just kind of looks like a stick figure llama right now. So the next thing I'm going to do is start making him look like a real llama. So I'm going to grab my glue dots and open them up. There are my glue dots. And I'll also grab my little eyeballs. I'm going to use the little eyeballs for my llama, but if you want, you could use different ones. So I'm going to gently pull off one of the eyeballs and stick it onto my pom-pom. And I'll do the same thing so that my llama can have two eyes. So there's my little llama head. Kind of looks like a turtle right now. And then I'm going to grab one of my glue dots and I'm going to stick my pom-pom onto the glue dot and pull off the glue dot with the pom-pom. And then I can stick the glue dot onto my llama. Oop, and one of my eyes kind of fell off. So I can stick that back on. There we go. So there is the head of my llama, but his body still kind of looks like a stick figure llama. So we're going to take some of the fluff. You can use a lot of the fluff and make your llama really a very fluffy, fluffy llama, or you can use just a little bit. I'll start with a little and then see if I want to add more. All you need to do is take the fluff and gently wrap it around the middle of your llama body. Now it looks like he has fur or wool, I suppose. And if I want to add a little bit more, I can do that too. Have you seen the Emperor's New Groove? I really like that movie. I think my favorite character is Kronk. He's really funny and I like how he can talk to the squirrels. If you want, you can also add some here to make your llama neck fluffy too. I think I'll add just a little bit. Did you have a favorite character in the Emperor's New Groove? There we go. Now I have a very fluffy llama. I like him. The last thing I'm going to do is make a little blanket for him. So I'm going to take my felt and my scissors and I'm going to measure how big the little blanket needs to be. And I'll cut my felt and then I'll measure again. Cut my felt again. 
And then I can grab some glue dots. I think I'll use two, one for each side. So there's one glue dot. There's the second one. Then I can put the little blanket on my llama. See, he can stay warm while he's going on his adventures. Well, that's how my llama ended up looking. I think he's kind of cute and funny looking. I hope you enjoy making your llama and maybe he can go on some adventures too. I hope you enjoy all the crafts and remember, if your grown-up says it's okay, you can take a picture of your craft and post it in the classroom for everyone to see. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!